Banayam Shri Guru Shri Yatha Parakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavam Sa Shri Rupam Sa Grajatam Sa Gana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sa Jeevam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishikam Vitam Sa Om Madhyana Timaranda Sa Gina Arjuna Shalakaya Chakshuru Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venama Guru Vabhistam Supurakam Guru Ganara Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samastra Veda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govinda Vidam Ujjvalam Bharatanum Bhaktiyan Vidam Sundaram Bande Vishwa Guru Nsha Divyad Bhagavad Prem Nawe Bijapradam Devam Divyad Tanum Suchandavaranam Balarka Chelanshitam Sandrananda Puram Sarekavaranam Vairagya Vidyam Budim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Baram Mandetam Shubhadam Madeka Sharanam Nyashi Sharashi Dharam Bancha Kopataru Vyasya Kripasindu Vyavaja Patita Nam Pavhenibyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Nama Namo Mahabana Nyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gaurata Vise Nama. So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. And this is uh, Madhya Lila Chapter 12, The Cleansing of the Gundisha Temple. Start with verse number 70. Acharjadi bhakta kore prabore nimantran tahan tahan bhikkha kore loya bhakta gan. Some of the prominent devotees, like Advaita Chari, used to invite Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to take his meals at their homes. The Lord accepted such invitations accompanied by his devotees. E mata nana range dina kata gela jaganatera rata jatra nikata hoila. In this way, the Lord passed some days in great jubilation. Then the car festival of Lord Jagannath approached. Pratame kashi mishre prabhu bolaila padicha patra sarva bome bolana anila. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. First of all, called for Kashi Mishra, then for the superintendent of the temple, and then for Sarvabhom Bhattacharya. Tinjana Pashe Prabhu Hashiya Kohila Gundicha Mandira Marjan Sevam Maginila. When these three people came before the Lord, he begged them for permission to wash the temple known as Gundicha. Paricha Kohe Amisab. Sevaka Tomar, J. Tomar, Ichase Kartavya Amar. Upon hearing the Lord's request for permission to wash the Gundicha temple, the Padicha, the superintendent of the temple, said, My dear sir, we are all your servants. Whatever you desire is our duty to perform. Visheshe Rajara Agya Hoyache Amare. Prabhura Agya Jai Se Shigra Korivare. The Lord gave a special order for me to do without delay whatever your Lordship orders. Are you okay? Yes. The King gave a special order for me to do without delay whatever your or- Lordship orders. Tomara Jogya Seva Nahe Mandira Marjan. A ek lila kora jetomaraman. My dear Lord, washing the temple is not service befitting you. Nonetheless, if you wish to do so, it is to be accepted as one of your pastimes. Kintu gata samarjani bahuta chahiye agyadeho ajisab ihan anidiye. To wash the temple, you need many water pots and brooms. Therefore, order me. I can immediately bring all these things to you. Nutana ek shata gata shata samarjani paricha aniyadila prabhur ichajani. 
As soon as the superintendent understood the desire of the Lord, he immediately delivered a hundred new water pots and a hundred brooms for sweeping the temple. Aradine Prabhate Loya Nijigan Shri Haste Sabar Ange Lepi La Chandan. The next day, early in the morning, the Lord took his personal associates with him and with his own hand smeared sandalwood pulp on their bodies. Shri Haste Dila Sabare Ek Ek Marjani Sabgana Loya Prabhu Chalila Apani. He then gave each devotee a broom with his own hand, and taking all of them personally with him, the Lord went to Gundicha. Gundicha Mandire Gela, Korite Marjan, Pratame Marjani, Loya Korila Shonan. In this way, the Lord and his associates went to cleanse the Gundisha temple. At first they cleansed the temple with the brooms. Bitara Mandira Upar Sakala Majila Simasana Maje Puna Stapana Korila. The Lord cleansed everything inside the temple very nicely, including the ceiling. He then took up the sitting place, the Simasana, cleansed it and again put it in its original place. Shotabora Mandira Koila Marjana Shodan Pache Taiche Shodila Sri Jagamohan. Then the Lord and his companions cleansed and swept all the temple buildings, big and small, and finally cleansed the area between the temple and the Kirtan Hall. Um, so The place where the devotees will will go. What do what do we call that? Uh, not, not the, yeah, the not mandir. The the deities are in the mandir, and then the, here it says, "Thus the Lord and his companions cleansed and swept all the temple buildings, big and small, and finally cleansed the area between the temple and the kirtan hall." Well, in this case, they're not cleaning. It's it's. They're not mentioning the Natmandir specifically. They're talking about the space between the Natmandir and and the deities. Okay. Charidike Shatabhakta Samarjani Kori Apani Shodena Prabhu Shikana Sabare. Indeed, hundreds of devotees were engaged in cleansing all around the temple. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was personally carrying out the operation just to instruct others. So, what they're calling also the the temple is, is includes the Nat Mandir. That's the major, the main place where all the. But they're also cleaning the Simasan and where the deities are. Premula se shodana loyan Krishna nam bhaktagana Krishna kohe kore nijakam. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu washed and cleansed the temple in great jubilation chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna all the time. Similarly, all the devotees were also chanting and at the same time performing their respective duties. Duli du saratanu dekite shovan kahan kahan ashujale kore samarjan. The entire beautiful body of the Lord was covered with dust and dirt. In this way it became transcendentally beautiful. At times, when cleansing the temple, the Lord shed tears, and in some places, he even cleansed with those tears. Boga Mandira Shodana Kori Shodila Pangan Sakala Ava Shakrame Kori La Shodan. After this, the Lord, after this, the place where the deity's food was kept, the Boga Mandir, was cleansed. Then the yard was cleansed, and then all the residential quarters, one after the other. Trina Duli 
Chingura sab ekatra koriya, bahir ba se loya felai. Bahir koriya, after Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu collected all the dust, after Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu collected all the straw, dust, and grains of sand in one place, he gathered it all in his cloth and threw it outside. So it, it says, his bahirvash means his dhoti, put all the dust and everything, holding in his dhoti, and then carried it outside, and then, then threw it. E madabhakta gana kori nijya base, Trina Duli Bahire Vilai Parama Harishe, following the example of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the devotees in great jubilation began to gather straws and dust with their own cloths and throw them outside the temple. So they're all using their dhotis to hold the dust and throw it out, carry it outside. Prabhu Kohe Ke Kata Koriyacha Samarjan Trinaduli Deki Le Janiba Parishram. The Lord then told the devotees, I can tell how much you have labored and how well you have cleansed the temple simply by seeing all the straw and dust you have collected outside. So he's making a competition that everyone to see who gets the most amount of straw and dust the dirt out of the temple. Sabara jan, jantana boja ekatra korila sabhoite prabhura boja adika hoila even though all the devotees collected dirt in one pile, the dirt collected by Mahaprabhu was much greater. Emata bhyantara korila marjan puna sabakare dila koriya bantan after the inside of the temple was cleansed, the Lord again allotted areas for the devotees to cleanse. Sukma duli trina kangara sabakaraha dura balomate shodana koraha prabhura antarpur. The Lord then ordered everyone to cleanse the inside of the temple very perfectly by taking their dust, straw, and grains of sand and throwing them outside. Sab Vaishnava loya jave dui bar shodila deki maha prabhu mane santosha hoila. After Mahaprabhu and all the Vaishnavas cleansed the temple for the second time, Mahaprabhu was very happy to see see the cleaning work. Arashat jana shat gate jala bari pratame loya ache kala apeka kori. While the temple was being swept, about a hundred men stood ready with filled water pots, and they simply awaited the Lord's order to throw the water from them. Jau anaboli jabe mahaprabhu kohila tabe shata gata ani prabhu agedila. As soon as mahaprabhu called for water, all the men immediately brought the hundred water pots, which were completely filled, and delivered them before the Lord. Pratame Korila Prabhu Mandira Prakalan Urdhva Aru Bhiti Griha Madhyana Madhya Simasana. In this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first washed the, the main temple and then thoroughly washed the ceiling, the walls, the floor, the sitting place, Simasana, and everything within the room. Kapura Boriya Jala Urdhva Chalaila Sejali Urdhva Shori Bhiti Prakalila. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself and his devotees began to throw water onto the ceiling. When the water fell, it washed the walls and floor. Sri Haste Korana Simasane Ramarjan Prabhu Age Jala Ane Deya Bhakti Gan. <coughs> then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to wash the sitting place of Lord Jagannath in his own, with his own hands and all the devotees began to bring water to the Lord. So the idea behind all this is the 
the Ratiatra occurs and then, then the deities of Jagannath, Baladeva, and Subhadra are taken out of their temple on the Rath cars and they travel in the Ratiatra and they get they come to the Gundicha temple and then they're taking, taken into the Gundicha temple and they'll remain there, I don't know for how many days, like five days. And then they'll go back to the main temple. So the Gundicha temple has not been used for, uh, for since the last Ratha Yatra. So it's been a long time. So they want to clean it very thoroughly before the deities are taken there. They're cleaning it so that when the Ratha Yatra occurs, the deities will have a clean place to go to. So, Sri Haste Korana Sima Sanhera Marjan Prabhu Age Jala Ani Deya Bhaktagan then Ma Prabhu began to wash the sitting place of Lord Jagannath with his own hands, and all the devotees began to bring water to the Lord. <coughs> so at this time, the deities are still in Nilachala, in the main temple. <coughs> in this temple, they're, clean, they're cleansing when it says where the Lord, it's the sitting place of Lord Jagannath. It's where Lord Jagannath will come to and where he will be placed there. Bhaktagana Kore Griha Madhyana Prakala Nija Nija Haste Kore Mandira Marjan. All the devotees within the temple began to wash. Each one had a broom in his hand, and in this way they cleansed the temple of the Lord. So I remember once in Guadalajara, when it was before in Niskan, we had Every year we had Rathiyatra because they had big deities of Jagannath, Baladeva, and Subhadra. And they would make they would make Rathkars with canopies made out of just like in just like in Puri, but smaller. But like that. And one time we took the deities, there was a park named Diezi Seste Septiembre. Uh, 16th of September. Uh, no, the the park's that I think it was on that street, but the park's name was was Agua Sul. Uh, Blue Water was the name of the park, and they had a they had a amphitheater there. It was an amphitheater like a like a with a, a cement roof and, and seats and everything, very big. It would hold thousands of people. And every week they would have mariachis playing there. So we, but we um, had an arrangement with them that we, we would do Rathiatra in the morning and then till the evening we would have the amphitheater to use and we'd bring the deities in the in the amphitheater, but the mariachis are very popular, so the amphitheater was full with people waiting for the mariachis, thousands of people, and we bring we came, we came in there with carrying the deities from the cars arrived, and then they brought the deities into the amphitheater on palanquins, and there was a stage there and everything, and. When the deities came, the devotees brought them onto the stage and put them there. They had a platform for them and everything. And then the devotees, they put Lord Jagannath, Baladeva, and Subhadra there. And then the devotees all offered dandavas. And when the devotees offered dandavas, thousands of people, all the people in the amphitheater, they also offered dandavas. They thought, they saw that the devotees were doing that and that they, they did that too. Whereas I don't think in I don't think in other places they would do that, but there's a certain there's really a lot of piety in in Mexico. So they they didn't feel any any shame or anything and they felt encouraged and they all I looked around, I couldn't believe it. Thousands of people in the amphitheater and they all had sitting places and they all got down from their sitting places and they're, they're kneeling down and offering their dandavats to the deities. I thought that was amazing. <laughs>
Uh, all the devotees within the temple began to wash. Each one had a broom in his hand, and in this way they cleansed the temple of the Lord. Keho jala ani deyam mahaprabhur kore deho jala deya tara charana upare. Someone brought water to pour into the hands of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and someone poured water on his lotus feet. So the, the, the performance of Sankirtan in the West, all that was, all that was made by Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada, he was very enthusiastic about the worship of Jagannath, Baladeva, and Subhadra, and he established Vratiyatras all over the world. And, here in San Francisco, in Los Angeles, in New York, and many countries they had. And as I said, in Mexico, in Guadalajara, every year, for more than 40 years now, they've had Rathi Yatra. Keho jala ni deya mahaprabhu rikorei. Keho jala deya tara chanana upare. Someone brought water to pour into the hands of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and someone poured water in his lotus feet. Keho lukaya kori se jala pan, keho magi loya keho anye kori dan. The water that fell from the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was drunk by someone who hid himself. Someone else begged for that water, and another person was giving that water in charity. So all this was being done little hiddenly because Mahaprabhu would not want that his feet be washed and that the persons would drink the water. So it's all done very, kind of very secretively, what they're doing with the water. Garad dui prana likai jala chari dila se jali prangana sa boriya rohila after the room was washed, the water was let out through an outlet, and, and it then flowed and filled the yard outside into the courtyard. Nijabastre koila prabhu griha samarjan mahaprabhu nijabastre majila simasana. The Lord mopped the room with his own clothes, and he polished the throne with them also. In this case. Okay. No, Simasana. Deity Son. Shatagata Jali Hoila Mandira Marjan Mandira Shodiya Koila Jaina Nijaman. In this way all the rooms were cleansed and a hunt with a hundred water pots. All the after the rooms had been cleansed, the minds of the devotees were as clean as the rooms. Nirmala Shitala Snigda Korila Mandire when the temple was cleansed, it was purified, cool and pleasing, just as if the Lord's own pure mind had appeared. Shata shata chana job bore saro bare gate stana nahi keho kupe jala bare. Since hundreds of men were engaged in bringing water from the lake. There was no place to stand on the banks. Consequently, someone began to draw water from a well. Pornakumba loya aise shata bhaktagan shunyagata loya jai ara shata jan. Hundreds of devotees brought water in the pots, and hundreds took the empty pots away to fill them up again. Nityananda dvaita swarupa Bharati Puri Ihabinu Arasab Ane Jalabori. With the exception of Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Charya, Swarup Damodar, Brahmananda Bharati, and Paramananda Puri, everyone was engaged in filling the water pots 
and bringing them, them there. Gate gate teki kata gata bangi gela shata shata gata loka tahan loya aila. Many of the water pots were broken when people collided with what with one another, and hundreds of men had to bring new water pots to fill, because these water pots are clay, clay water pots. Jalabare gara doya kore hari dwani. Krishna Hari Dwani Bina Aranahi Shuni. Some people were filling the pots and others were washing the rooms, but everyone was engaged in chanting the holy name of Krishna and Hari. Krishna Krishna Kore Gatera Pratan, Krishna Krishna Kahe Kore Gata Samarpan. One person begged for a water pot by chanting the holy names Krishna Krishna and another delivered a pot while chanting Krishna, Krishna. So they're asking for a water pot, Krishna, Krishna, and then someone is giving them the water pot. Here, Krishna, Krishna, but they're not saying here, they're just saying Krishna, 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 and Krishna. Jai Jai Kohe Se Kohe Krishna Name Krishna Nam Hoyla Saketa Sabakame Whenever anyone had to speak, he did so by uttering the holy name of Krishna. Consequently, the holy name of Krishna became an indication for everyone who wanted something. Prema Veshe Prabhu Kohe Krishna Krishna Nam Ekale Prema Veshe Kore Shatta Janar Tam Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was, was chanting the holy name of Krishna in ecstatic love. He himself was performing the work of hundreds of men. Shatahaste koran jena kalana marjan pratijana pashe jai koraha shikan. It appeared as though Mahaprabhu were cleansing and washing with a hundred hands. He approached every devotee just to teach him how to work. Balokarma deki tare kore prashamshan. Mane nam milile kore pavitra barsan. When he saw someone doing nicely, the Lord praised him. But if he saw that someone was not working to his satisfaction, he, had, he immediately chastised that person, not bearing him any grudge. Tumi balo kore jacha shikaha anjere emata balo karma. Say ho jena kore. This is how he would chastise someone. He would say, "The Lord would say, you have done well. Please teach this to others so that they may act in the same way.'" That's what he's saying to chastise somebody who's not working to his satisfaction. So maybe some sarcasm there, because the Lord would say, "You have done well. Please teach this to others so that they may act in the same way." Ekata shunya sabe sankuchita hoya balomate karma kore sabe manadiya. As soon as they heard Mahaprabhu say this, everyone became ashamed. Thus the devotees began to work with great attention. Tabe prakalana koila shri jagamohan boga mandira adi tabe koila prakalan. They watched the jagamohan area and then the place where food was kept. All other places were also washed. Matashala dui dwila chatvara prangan prakalana adikori korila prakalan. In this way, the meeting place was washed, the entire yard, the raised sitting places, the kitchen, and every other room. <coughs> Mandirer. Chaturdik prakalana koila sab anta pura balo mate doyala. Thus, all places around the temple were thoroughly washed within and without. Hinakali gundicha ek subudi saro. Hinakali gundicha ek subudi saro. After everything was thoroughly washed, a Vaishnav from Bengal, who was very intelligent and simple, came and poured water on the lotus feet of the Lord. 
से जाओ लो ये अपने भाई कोयला तहा देखे प्रभु और माने दुख रोशन होयला the Gaudi of Vaishnav, that means a Bengali Vaishnav, then took that water and drank it himself, seeing that Mahaprabhu felt a little unhappy was also, and was also outwardly angry. This, in the temple, somebody washed his feet and then is drinking the water that's washing his feet. Jajapi Gosai Tari Hoyanche Santosh Dharma Samstapana Lagi Bakire Maharosh. Although the Lord was certainly satisfied with him, he became angry externally in order to establish the etiquette of religious principles that one should not wash somebody's feet in, in the temple. So, Shikalage Swarupe Daki Kohila Tahare Edek Tomara Gaudiya Rabhyabahare The Lord then called for Swarup Damodar and told him, just see the behavior of your Bengali Vaishnava. Ishwara Mandire Mor Paradoyala Sejala Paniloya Panakoila This Bengali man has washed my feet within the temple of the Lord. Not only that, but he has also drunk the water himself. I do not know what my destination is because of this offense. Indeed, your, your Bengali Vaishnava has greatly implicated me. It is significant that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Swarup Damodar that the Bengali Vaishnav was your Gaudiya Vaishnav. This means that all Gaudiya Vaishnavas who are followers of the Chaitanya of the Chaitanya cult are subordinate to Swarup Damodar. The Parampara system is very strictly observed by Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's personal secretary was Swarup Damodar. The next group of devotees was the six Goswamis, then Kambiraj Goswami. It is necessary to observe the parampara system of the Chaitanya cult. Uh, there are many offenses one can commit while serving the Lord, and these are described in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Hari Bhakti Vilas, and other books. According to the rules and regulations, no one should accept obeisances in the temple of the Lord before the deity, nor is it proper for a devotee to offer obeisances and touch the feet of the spiritual master before the deity. This is considered an offense. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself was personally the supreme personality of Godhead. Therefore, it was not actually offensive to wash his lotus feet in the temple. However, because he was playing the part of an acharya, the Lord considered himself an ordinary human being. He also wanted to give instructions to ordinary human beings the point is that even though one plays the part of a spiritual master, he should not accept obeisances or permit a disciple to wash his feet before the deity. This is a matter of etiquette. Tabe swaru gosai taragari hatadiya dekamari purer bahira vakilena loya. In this at this point, Swarup Damodar cut the Gaudiya Vaishnava by, by the neck and giving him a little push, ejected him from the Gundija Puri temple and made him stay outside. Puna Ashe Prabhu Bhai Korela Vinoy Agya Aparad Kama Korite Jujai. After Swarup Damodar returned within the temple, he requested Mahaprabhu to excuse that innocent person. Tabe ma prabhu armane santo shoyla shari kori dui pashe sabare basaila. After this incident, ma prabhu was very satisfied. He then asked all the devotees to sit down in two lines on both sides. Apane basi yamaje apanara hate trina 
Kankara Kupa Lagila Kudaite. The Lord then personally sat down in the middle and picked up all kinds of straw, grains of sand, and dirty things. Ekata kudaya sava ekatra koriba jarapa taratai pita pana loiba. While Ma Prabhu was picking up the straws and grains of sand, he said, I shall gather everyone's collection and I shall ask whoever has collected less than all the others to pay a fine of, of sweet cakes and sweet rice. Well, actually, pita pana means like something to drink and some like cake. So you'll, that person will have to provide this for all the others who's collected less. Emadasaburi kori la shodan, shita la nirmala koi la jena nijaman. In this way, all the quarters of the Gundija temple were completely cleansed and cleared. All quarters were cool and spotless, like one's cleansed and pacified mind. Pranalika chadi chadi pani bahaila nutana nade jena samudre milila. When the water from the different rooms was finally let out through the halls, it appeared as if new rivers were rushing out to meet the waters of the ocean because Puri is on and the o is very near the ocean. It's on the ocean. Emata Pura Dwara Age Bhatta Jat Sakala Shodila Taha Ke Varni Bhikat Outside the gateways of the temple all the roads were also cleansed and no one could tell exactly how this was done. Nishinga Mandira Bhitara. Okay. So I'm going to read this. There's a, a purport. Actually, this is the important purport about the cleansing of the Gondicha temple. So I'm going to read that. And it's a nice explanation. Then we'll end there. But. That verse is Emata Purandwara Age Patajat Sakala Shodi Lataha Be Ke Varni Bejakata. Outside the gateway of the temple all the roads were also cleansed and no one could tell exactly how this was done. In commenting on the cleansing of the Gundija temple, Srila Bhakti Sananda Saraswati Thakur says that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as the world leader was personally giving instructions on how one should receive Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God within one's cleansed and pacified heart. So all this instruction is about how you can cleanse your own heart to receive the Lord, like a, your heart being like a temple. If one wants to see Krishna seated in his heart, he must first cleanse the heart as prescribed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his Sikshastika, Cheto Darpana Marjanam. In this age, everyone's heart is especially uncleaned, as confirmed in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Ridi Antasto Yabhadrani, to wash away all dirty things accumulated within the heart. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu advised everyone to chant the Hare Krishna mantra. The first result will be that the heart is cleansed. Chaito Dharpana Marjana. Similarly, Srimad Bhagavatam confirms this statement. Srinvatam Svatkata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Vidi Antasto Yabhadrani Vidunoti Suritsatam. Sri Krishna, the personality of Godhead, who is the Paramatma or super soul in everyone's heart, and the benefactor of the truthful devotee, cleanses desire for material enjoyment from the heart of the devotee who relishes his messages, which are in themselves virtuous when properly heard and chanted. 
If a devotee at all wants to cleanse his heart, he must chant and hear the glories of the Lord, Sri Krishna, Srinvatam Svakata Krishna. This is a simple process. Krishna himself will help cleanse the heart because he is already seated there. Krishna wants to continue living within the heart that uh, Krishna can, wants to continue living within the heart and the Lord wants to give it directions but one has to keep his heart as clean as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu kept the Gundicha temple. The devotee therefore has to cleanse his heart just as the Lord cleansed the Gundicha temple. If the heart is filled with straw, grains of sand, weeds or dust, in other words, anyabilasha purna, one cannot enthrone the Supreme Lord there. The heart must be cleansed of all material motives brought about through fruit of work, speculative knowledge, the mystic yoga system, and so many other forms of so-called meditation. The heart must be cleansed without ulterior motive. As Srila Rupa Goswami says, Anyabhilashita shunyam jnana karmadi anavritam. In other words, there... In other words, there, there should not be any external motive. One should not attempt material upliftment, understanding the supreme by speculative knowledge, fruitive activity, severe austerity and penance, and so on. All these activities are against the natural growth of spontaneous love of God. As soon as, there are, as, soon as these are present within the heart, the heart should be understood to be unclean, and therefore unfit to, re to serve as Krishna's sitting place. What, we cannot perceive the Lord's presence in our hearts unless our hearts are cleansed. A material desire is explained as a desire to enjoy the material world to its fullest extent. In modern language, this is called economic development. An inordinate desire for economic development is considered to be like straws and grains of sand within the heart. If one is overly engaged in material activity, the heart will always remain disturbed. As stated by Naratam Dasakur, samsara vishanale diva nishi hi ajwale judaite na koinu upai. In other words, endeavor for material opulence is against the principle of devotional service. Material enjoyment includes activities such as great sacrifices for auspicious activity, charity, austerity, elevation to the higher planetary systems, and even living happily within the material world. Modernized material benefits are like the dust of material contamination. When this dust is agitated by the whirlwind of fruitive activity, uh, it overcomes the heart. Thus the mirror of the heart is covered with dust. There are many desires to perform auspicious and inauspicious activities, but people do not know how life after life they are keeping their hearts unclean. One who cannot give up the desire for fruit of activity is understood to be covered by the dust of material contamination. Karmis generally think that the interaction of fruit of activities can be, cons counter can be counteracted by another karma or fruit of activity. In other words, you're doing mundane activities and that's, and that's, uh, and that's contaminating your heart, but then, but those who are materially, materialists, they think they can do other material activities to cleanse their heart, like do sacrifices or things like this. This is certainly a mistaken conception. If one is deluded by such a conception, he is cheated by his own activity. Such activities have been compared to an elephant's bathing. An elephant may bathe very thoroughly, but as soon as it comes out of, its, out of the river, it immediately takes some sand from the land and throws it all over his body. I've seen this too. I saw when I was in Russia, they had elephants there 
and it was like a circus and then they took the elephants down to the to the it's actually the black sea I believe it is and and the elephants went in the water with the riders on their back and then the elephants were you know they were in the in the water and they're getting cleansed by the water and then the elephants would leave the water and come back to the land and the sand and with their trunks they began throwing throwing dirt all over their body so that's called the bath of an elephant an elephant may bathe very thoroughly but as soon as it comes out of the river it immediately takes some sand from the land and throws it all over its body and also all over the person on their back all over the right if one suffers due to his past fruit of activities he cannot counteract his suffering by performing auspicious activities. The suffering of humans, the sufferings of human society, cannot be counteracted by material plants. The only way these sufferings can be mitigated is by Krishna consciousness. When one takes to Krishna consciousness and engages himself in the devotional service of the Lord, beginning with chanting and hearing the glories of the Lord, the cleansing of the heart begins. When the heart is actually cleansed, one can clearly see the Lord sitting there without any disturbance. In Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, the Lord confirms that he sits within the heart of the pure devotee. Uh, Sarava ridayam mayam uh, sadunam ridayam vaham. Impersonal speculation, monistic, monism, or merging into the existence of the sp supreme speculative knowledge mystic yoga and meditation are all compared to grains of sand they simply cause irritation to the heart no one can satisfy the lord by such activities nor do we give the lord a chance to sit in our hearts peacefully rather the lord is simply disturbed by them sometimes the yogis and jnanis in the beginning take to the chanting of the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra as a way to begin their various practices. But when they falsely think that they have attained release from the bondage of material existence, they give up chanting. They do not consider that the ultimate goal is the form of the Lord or the name of the Lord. Such unfortunate creatures are never favored by the Supreme Personality of God for they do not know what devotional service is. Lord Krishna describes them in the Bhagavad Gita in this way. Tanaham dvishatak kuran samsareshu naradaman shipami ajas ajasram ashuban ashurishveva yonishu those who are envious and mischievous, who are the lowest among men, I perpetually cast into the ocean of material existence, into various demonic species of life. By his personal example, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has shown in the has shown us that all the grains of sand must be picked up thoroughly and thrown outside. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also cleansed the outside of the temple, fearing that the grains of sand would again come within. In this connection, Srila Bhakti Sananda Saraswati Thakur explains that even though one may become free from the desire for fruit of activity, sometimes the subtle desire for fruit of activity again comes into being within the heart. One often thinks of constructing of one often thinks of conducting business to improve devotional activity, but the contamination is so strong that it may later develop into misunderstanding, described as kutinati, fault finding, and pratistata, and pratistasa, the desire for name and fame, and for high position. So first is. But the contamination is so strong that it may later develop into misunderstanding, described as kutinati, fault finding, and pratihasha, the desire for name and fame and for a high position. 
jiva himsa, envy of other living being, living entities. That's violence to other persons. Nishida char, accepting things forbidden in the shastra. Kama, desire for material gain. And puja, hankering for popularity. The word kutinati means duplicity. As an example of pratishtasha, one may attempt to imitate Srila Haridas Thakur by living in a solitary place. One's real desire may be for name and fame. In other words, one thinks that food that in other words, one thinks that fools will accept one to be as good as as Haridas Thakur just because one lives in a solitary place. These are all material desires. A neophyte devotee is certain to be a, attacked by other material desires as well, namely desires for women and money. In, that, in this way, the heart is again filled with dirty things and becomes harder and harder, like that of a materialist. Gradually, one desires to become a reputed devotee or an avatar. The word jivahimsa, envy of other living entities, actually means stopping the preaching of Krishna consciousness. Preaching work is described as paro, paropakar, welfare activity for others. Those who are ignorant of the benefits of devotional service must be educated by preaching. If one stops preaching and simply sits down in a solitary place, he is engaging in material activity. If one desires to make a compromise with the mayavadis, he is also engaged in material activity. A devotee should never make compromises with non-devotees. By acting as a professional guru, mystic yogi, or miracle man, one may cheat and bluff the general public and gain fame as a wonderful mystic, but all this is considered to be dust, straw, and grains of sand within the heart. In addition, one should follow the regulative principles and not desire illicit sex, gambling, intoxicants, or meat. To give us practical instructions, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu cleansed the temple twice. His second cleansing was more thorough. The idea was to throw away all the stumbling blocks on the path of devotional service. He cleansed the temple with firm conviction, as is evident from his using his own personal garments for cleaning. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to, per wanted to see personally that the temple was thoroughly cleansed to the standard of clean marble. Clean marble gives a cooling effect. Devotional service means attaining peace from all disturbances caused by material contamination. In other words, it is a process by which the mind is cooled. The mind can be peaceful and thoroughly cleansed when one no longer desires anything but devotional service. Even though all dirty things may be cleansed away, sometimes subtle desires remain in the mind for in personalism, monism, success, and the four principles of religious activity, dharma, arta, kama, and moksha. All these are like spots on clean cloth. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also wanted to cleanse all these away. By his practical activity, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu informed us how to cleanse our hearts. Once the heart is cleansed, we should invite Lord Sri Krishna to sit down and we should observe the festival of distributing prasadam and chanting the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to teach every devotee by his personal behavior. Everyone who spreads the cult of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepts a similar responsibility. The Lord was personally chastising and praising individuals in the course of the, clean, of the cleaning, and those who were engaged as acharyas must learn from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu how to train devotees by personal example. The Lord was very pleased with those who could cleanse the temple by taking out undesirable things accumulated within. This is called anarta nivritti, cleansing the heart of all unwanted things. Thus, the cleansing of the Gundicha Mandir was conducted by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to let us know how the heart should be cleansed and soothed to receive Lord Sri Krishna and enable him to sit within the heart without disturbance. 
So that's the end of this report. It was very nice. Okay. Now I'll sing Hari Haraya. And I can, we, you can sometime when a little later or something, you can bring Chitra and we can all, and we can talk. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jarabaya Nama Haraya Nama Krishna Jarabaya Nama Jarabaya Marabaya Keshavaya Nama Vaya Marabaya Keshavaya Nama Gopa Govinda Ram Shimaru Sudan Gopa Govinda Ram Shimaru Sudan Giridari Gopinatha Maranamohan Giridari Gopinatha Maranamohan Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Dharadara Shiva Sari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Dharadara Shiva Sari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhakta Ravina Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhakta Ravina Sri Jiva Gopala Bhakta Dasa Ravina Sri Jiva Gopala Bhakta Dasa Ravina Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bandhan Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bandhan Jao Hoi Te Vigna Na Shabhi Shapuram Jao Hoi Te Vigna Na Shabhi Shapuram Echai Gosai Char Muri Charadhan Echai Gosai Char Kasabar Pada Renu Mora Panchagra Kasabar Pada Renu Mora Panchagra Tare Chanan Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhan Tare Chanan Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhan Janame Janame More Abhilan Janame Janame Jai Go Sai Jave Braje Koi Laba Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prata Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prata Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Bindu Man Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Bindu Man Shri Guru Vaishnava Ram, 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 Ram,
मोर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो निगर हरि बो परिकर श्री श्री गुरु गुरंगत गंधार्विक गिरिडारी जो की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद श्री लबाकि की लत मेरे महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद श्री लबाकि निर्मल आचार्य महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद परमंश परब जाक चरियास्ता तार सर श्री श्री मान श्री लबाकि सुंदर गोविंद देव गोसाई महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद परमंश परब जाक चरि अष्ट तार सर श्री श्रीमान शिल बाकी बाकी श्री राधेव गोसाई महाराज की जाय जाय भगवान शिल बाकी सुदान सरस्वती गोसाई ठाकुर की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद श्री लघोर श्री किशोर दस बाबा जी महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद श्री सात श्रीनंद बाकी विनोद ठाकुर की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद वैष्णव सर्वभौम शिल जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज की जाय रूपनुग गुरु बार्ग की जाय नामाचार्य श्री हरिदास ठाकुर की जाय श्री रूप सनातन भक्त रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भक्त दास रघुनाथ शत गोस्वामी प्रभु की जाय प्रेम से गो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदान हर शिवास्त्री श्री गौर भक्त वृंद की जाय श्री कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी प्रभु की जाय श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत की जाय श्री लृंदावन दास ठाकुर की जाय श्री चैतन्य भागवत की जाय नारायण श्रीनिवास श्यामानंद प्रभु की जाय विश्वाभरण्य श्री लाकी वेदांत स्वाई महाराज प्रभु की जाय जाय ओम विष्णुपाद श्री लाकी कुश मास्टरा महाराज की जाय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जाय श्री नवनीत धाम की जाय श्री राम मायापुर की जाय सपर्शिव श्री नित्यानंद प्रभु की जाय सपर्शिव श्रीमान महाप्रभु की जाय श्री कोलदी की जाय श्री चैतन्य सरस्वत मात की जाय सोख्य श्री चैतन्य सरस्वत सदाश्रम की जाय गंगा देवी की जाय तुलासी महारानी की जाय बाकी देवी की जाय श्री वृंदावन धाम की जाय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गो गोपी गोपदान श्याम घनु राधा कुंड कलिंद यमुनी देव की जाय श्री पुरुषोत्तम धाम की जाय बल देव सुभद्र जगन्नाथ देव की जाय बाकी विद्या विनाश आया श्री न सिंह देव की जाय भक्त प्रभार शीतलाल महाराज की जाय समवेद भक्त वृंद की जाय श्री हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जाय और ये संबोध गौती की जाय गौर प्रेमनंदे हरि हरि श्री लोक की भावना महाराज की जाय